The Old Testament reading for the second Sunday in Advent is from Micah chapter 4. It shall come to pass in the latter days that the mountain of the house of the Lord shall be established as the highest of the mountains, and it shall be lifted up above the hills, and peoples shall flow to it. And many nations shall come and say, Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob, that he may teach us his ways, and that we may walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth the law, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He shall judge between many peoples, and shall decide for strong nations afar off. And they shall beat their swords into plowshares, and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war any more. But they shall sit under every man under his vine and under his fig tree, and no one shall make them afraid. For the mouth of the Lord of hosts has spoken. For all the peoples walk, each in the name of its God. But we will walk in the name of the Lord our God forever and ever. In that day, declares the Lord, I will assemble the lame and gather those who have been driven away and those whom I have afflicted. And the lame I will make the remnant and those who were cast off a strong nation. And the Lord will reign over them in Mount Zion from this time forth and forevermore. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The epistle is from Romans chapter 15. For whatever was written in former days was written for our instruction, that through endurance and through the encouragement of the scriptures we might have hope. May the God of endurance and encouragement grant you to live in such harmony with one another in accord with Christ Jesus that together you may with one voice glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, welcome one another as Christ has welcomed you for the glory of God. For I tell you that Christ became a servant to the circumcised to show God's truthfulness in order to confirm the promises given to the patriarchs and in order that the Gentiles might glorify God for his mercy. As it is written, Therefore I will praise you among the Gentiles and sing to your name. And again it is said, Rejoice, O Gentiles, with his people. And again, Praise the Lord, all you Gentiles, and let all the peoples extol him. And again, Isaiah says, The root of Jesse will come, even he who arises to rule the Gentiles, in him will the Gentiles hope. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, so that, by the power of the Holy Spirit, you may abound in hope. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
21st chapter. Glory, Glory be to thee, be, O Lord. Jesus said, There will be signs in sun and moon and stars, and on the earth the stress of nations in perplexity because of the roaring of the sea and the waves. People fainting with fear and with foreboding of what is coming on the world. For the powers of the heavens will be shaken, and then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. Now when these things begin to take place, straighten up and raise your heads, because your redemption is drawing near. And he told them a parable. Look at the fig tree and all the trees. As soon as they come out in leaf, you see for yourselves and know that the summer is already near. So also, when you see these things taking place, you know that the kingdom of God is near. Truly I say to you, this generation will not pass away until all has taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. But watch yourselves, lest your hearts be weighted down with dissipation and drunkenness and cares of this life. And that day come upon you suddenly like a trap. For it will come upon all who dwell on the face of the whole earth. But stay awake at all times, praying that you may have strength to escape all these things that are going to take place, and to stand before the Son of Man. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise be to thee, O Christ.
resources available on our Synod's website. Grace, mercy, and peace be to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. The readings for the second Sunday in Advent prepare us for Christ's final Advent on the last day. The day on which our Lord returns will be a great and awesome day, Scripture says, for he will come in a cloud with great power and glory. To the wicked and the proud, it will be a day of judgment that will, in the words of Malachi, set them ablaze. The signs preceding this day will bring them fear and fainting. But to those who believe, who fear the name of the Lord, this day is one to look forward to and rejoice in. Jesus instructs us, Straighten up and raise your heads because your redemption is drawing near. Christ, our Redeemer, is coming. The Son of Righteousness will bring healing in His wings. Let us, then, give attention to the words of the Lord, which do not pass away. Let us, through endurance and through the encouragement of the Scriptures, as taught in Romans 15, be strengthened in our hope by the Holy Spirit and watch diligently for Jesus' coming. Then, by God's grace, we shall escape all these things that will come to pass and stand before the Son of Man. The peace of God which passes all human understanding, keep your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Amen. Let us pray for the whole Church of God in Christ Jesus and for all people according to their needs. Eternal God, your word has been set forth into the world to the joy and edification of your holy people. Encourage, comfort, and strengthen all who hear it. Grant faith to those who do not know you, both here and abroad, that all peoples may sing to your name and extol your goodness. By the power of the Holy Spirit, Fill all who hear your word with all joy and peace in believing. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, you reveal to us that this world is distressed by the curse of sin and vulnerable to trouble and disaster. Yet you have given your Son, Jesus Christ, to save us. Guard our hearts against fear and foreboding of what is coming upon the world, and instead strengthen our faith that Christ is coming again in glory. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. O Lord, you know we often use the cares of this life as excuses for dissipation, drunkenness, and other distractions from you and your promises. Guard us from all temptations that would harm our faith and lead us to fear your coming. Preserve us by your grace that we might wait with joy to stand before the Son of Man in glory. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. In the midst of strife and conflict and wars and rumors of wars, Remind us that you have given all authority in heaven and earth to your Son, our Ascended Lord. Call to faithfulness the leaders of the earth and bless those who govern. Thwart those who would hinder your reign among all peoples 
that peace may be established in all places. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Give ear, O Shepherd of Israel, to our prayers, especially for those on our prayer list and those we name now in our own hearts. Give healing, courage, and perseverance to all who cry to you that they may find comfort in your enduring word and the certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life with Christ. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of comfort, show the love of your Christ to all troubled consciences. Lift up their heads to see that their redemption is drawing near and bless them through the preaching of the gospel. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Into your hands, O Lord, we commend all for whom we pray, trusting in your mercy, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray as Jesus has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.